What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central. I'm your host, Hayes, and we got some channel updates as well as some Bulls news that we're going to go over in this week's episode, so let's get into it. Okay, so first one, I'm going to sandwich the Bulls news between uh, uh, two channel updates. The first one is, um, so I will be recording a preview of the New York Knicks game against the Bulls with my best friend, uh, who's a huge Knicks fan. Um, And he is not going to be on video. So, you know, this project started off as a podcast, but I always wanted to make sure that whatever content is on the podcast, the YouTube viewers get and vice versa. Right. So I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think the best way for me or how would you like me to deliver that content? I don't want to all the people who've been supporting me and the viewers on YouTube. I don't want to just leave you guys out on what is probably going to be a great conversation because it's my best friend. and We're going to talk shit to each other. So there's a couple of different ways I can go about it. I can record my my side of the video overlay maybe a picture of him or maybe you know work in some some video or b-roll of like some knicks versus bulls video from the past or from some from the knicks uh game so far this season or i mean i can just put up the no video at all do some overlays on top of it um mainly just the audio with like clips of bulls and knicks over it just let me know what you guys think down below i want to make sure i can deliver that content to you guys because it's going to be a great episode because it's, like i said that's my best friend and we are going to definitely be talking a lot of crap to each other but outside of that let's get into the bulls uh content here and so marco S- simonovich Seminovich, i don't know how you pronounce it i am terrible sometimes with foreign names which is terrible because i i spent half my life uh, living overseas in Italy and Germany, you think I'd be a little bit better about it, but nonetheless, um, so uh, he was sent down to the to the G League, and so this has started a conversation on uh, with a lot of other Bulls content creators on is he going to be a bust? Is this better for him in the long run? Um, I want to know what you guys think about it. Do you think that Marco? I know we haven't gotten to see a bunch of him, but him going down to the G League this early on, especially considering the Bulls big man depth is a little thin Uh, we still haven't seen tony bradley play any of the season do you think that that is a sign that maybe he's not going to be able to contribute at the level that we thought this is the same guy that beforehand a lot of people were trying to compare him to joker even though i don't know if that's his game or whatnot but um as far as me and, and my opinion on it i don't really see like we we always knew that he was going to be a project right we didn't even know if he was gonna for sure come over this season or this early on um until really this off season and so you know i don't i don't see it as an automatic answer one way or another i think he because he's not going to get clearly repetitions on this team he's not going to get out there and play very much you you don't want him just sitting away on your bench um so the best thing to probably do is get go get him some reps in the g league see what he can do there uh help improve his conditioning um his size you know put on some weight as well and, you know, there have been players that go down to the G League and they and they come up and, you know, later on, they they do contribute. This is a a, a foreign player, um, overseas player who comes came in. He's still very young. And so I don't really see it necessarily as an answer one way or the other. I think, that, of course, that picture will become clear over time. And I'm, I'm just if you guys haven't been able to tell since I started the channel, I'm not someone who rushes to make decisions on players because. As long as I've been watching the NBA, yeah, I mean, there are some surefire signs of players who just aren't going to be able to put it together. But then again, there are a lot of signs as well as players who seem like that. And then, you know, given time and the proper uh, place to develop their skills, they they show him. I'm not saying he's going to come in and be one of our best players. I, I don't know if that's ever how he's going to develop. But I, I to say that he's not going to contribute or to already call him or say that this is a sign that he's going to be a bust, I think. We have a lot of PTSD, really, as Bulls fans. And I think because we, we over the course of this recent rebuild, there were so many players that we thought were going to be something that ultimately turned out not to be, that now we have this, this collective um, quickness to really just say that, okay, well, we, we aren't seeing the signs that we want to see uh, so far. They're clearly going to be a bust. Let's get rid of them. I mean, even... You know, and it's to a lesser degree, even with Patrick Williams right now, who's still playing with the shoulder injury that he suffered in the season opener, now everyone is is calling for him to to sit. And I'm not saying that I'm not, I'm not saying that there haven't been concerns with the way that Patrick Williams has played. Absolutely, absolutely, there has been. But I just I, you know I think that sometimes we are quick to just make these deci- decisions on these players and not really allow them time to figure it the hell out. They're young, um, and so with Marco. I mean, 
I would hope that overall, whatever happens, that the Bulls are just, they try to put him in the best position to succeed. And if he doesn't succeed, all right, it didn't work out. It's not like we spent a lot or uh, we wasted a, a high first round pick on Marco or anything like that. But I just think it's way too early on for any discussion on whether he's a bust or not to start taking place. You know, I, I, I get it. It, it, it's going to happen regardless whether it should, if I feel it should or shouldn't. But uh, I want to know down below what you guys uh, feel about it. Um, do you guys, are you guys going to be checking out for Marco in, in the G League to see what he does and how he develops? And how invested do you think the Bulls should be in his development long term? Um, or should they be, you know, looking elsewhere? Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, also, Io did not get assigned to the G League. Io was somebody that I did expect to go to the G League just because of looking at how this roster was set up i didn't think he was going to get minutes but as we know he has completely showed his ass um in a good way um in the minutes that he's that he's gotten to play that's why i'm surprised he hasn't gotten more minutes to be quite honest because when he's out there i'm not saying everything he does is perfect but when he's out there that activity that defense that looking uh for his teammates it's all there all the flashes of what this kid can be long term are there uh and like i said once they all come together they get more consistent Io is going to be a really good player, and I and I said it before. Him playing with and having Alex Caruso to look over on that bench with is really perfect. I mean, really, he has Alex Caruso, Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, all players that he can learn from. And yeah, I really like I and I didn't know what to expect from Io coming in. Like it, Io has some fucking heart, and you know we love our Bulls players with heart. And so, uh, yeah, that's 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 huge overall. And, and I. I Overall, the Bulls bench depth has not been what I expected. I expected the, the bench players to get more minutes than what they have been. We've been riding our starters very heavily. And, you know, it's it's let me say, it's way too early for me to, like, make this a, a concern over the course of the whole season because we'll see how it develops. But I won't I would be lying if I if I if it didn't make me worried about how how low of minutes our bench is playing and what that's going to do to our starters. Right. What that is going to do as we especially going to this next month, are we going to play in higher competition? We have more back-to-backs, whatever it ends up being. And we want our players to stay healthy. And this, again, may be part of my Bull fandom PTSD because it seems like we have major injuries every year. Knock on, knock on wood. I'm, I don't want any major injuries, of course, to happen uh, this season. But it just it worries me with that. And that may be, again, from the Thibodeau era of the starters playing heavy minutes. It may just be a lot of uh, things that put me in that in that space of being worried about how many minutes our starters are playing and wanting to see the bench play more minutes. But as of right now, it's not a concern. Everybody seems fine. Yeah, we have a couple of dings. Vooch is sick. Uh, Patrick Williams is still healing. We know about Kobe White may not be back to mid to late November. But all in all, things seem pretty good, right? It's just, you know, I, 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 I have, because I think, and this is one of the things that I do, is I I'm looking so much at my critiques and my judgments of this team is because I fully believe we're going to be in the playoffs and I fully believe we're going to make a run in the playoffs. And because of that, I think that some of the, some of the concerns that I voice are from that, that view of thinking, okay, playoffs. Like when I talk about the Bulls interior defense, I think they'll be fine over the course of the season. Even if when we play big man, those big men go off the way that we're guarding everything out on the perimeter and playing the passing lanes. I think overall will, it won't take us out of many games because there's not that many dominant big man like like big size big man in the league anyway but outside of that um but it, it worries me in the, in a playoff atmosphere right when you are in and playing one team night after night and all they do is game plan for you and find your holes and your weaknesses that's when i worry about if our interior defense can be exposed some so i think we'll be, we'll be fine either way in the regular season um but that's just my concern there um but anyway so that's it i said i had two channel announcements and so to get into the next one um, we have passed a thousand subscribers and I know that is very small compared to some other uh, YouTube channels and Bulls uh, content creators, but it's huge for me. When I started this, I d a, didn't expect to be on YouTube as much as I as I have been and get the interaction. I've been in, I've done podcasting now. I have a, another podcast that I've been doing for years. And while the podcast version of it is huge, right, um, the YouTube version of it never really took two. So I never thought that the youtube platform would be huge for me and so i want to thank you guys for a showing up the conversation helping the channel grow subscribing all this stuff we hit that thousand uh subscriber mark and i didn't expect even if i did i had like a six month goal in which that could possibly be happen 
And we're two and a half months in. We've already hit it. So I want to thank you guys. That's hats off to you guys. I still have to get out the first giveaway. But after I, I do that, we'll be doing another giveaway uh, for Bulls fans just for all the continued support and the love. I really do appreciate you guys so much. But that's it for me today. Uh, we'll see what I drop uh, tomorrow with the Knicks preview and see how I worked it out. So two things. Uh, let me know down below. How would you like me to deliver for the, the YouTube only viewers? How would you like me to deliver uh, that? content with you considering my guest at the time isn't going to do video and then also um let me know down below what you guys think about marco seminovich and just the bulls g league team as a whole but like i like to end every video on i love you guys go bulls peace this has been a presentation of the break break, break media, media. media.